Up next, our producer Tomáš Koper spoke with John Snoddy, the CEO of Operative Games at Sundance Asia. Now, with a career spanning decades, John has been at the bleeding edge of entertainment technology. He shares his insights on the future of storytelling and how technology is reshaping the way we experience entertainment. So you've been at the forefront of uh, incorporating technology into entertainment uh, for decades. Uh, what are you working on right now? Uh, I recently started a, a new company uh, about uh, nine months ago um, called um, Operative Games. And it's uh, a company that is taking, um, sort of combining the, the screen, uh, the story, great storytellers from Hollywood with uh, AI technology. And so we're using AI to create uh, these, these AI controlled characters, but the stories all come from real writers. So the dialogue is more fluid there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and the stories, the stories are deep. The stories, you know, are something that, that matters and, and you only get that from people. So AI, speaking of, uh, AI has the potential to remake the entertainment industry. And some people are afraid that it's going to take jobs. Other people see opportunities working with AI, using AI tools. Where do you fall on that spectrum? Well, I mean, it, sadly, there people will, you know, some people will be displaced. It, it's, it's, uh, it, it's very important. It's, it's kind of heartbreaking. Um, we though, you know, are, we know that great stories come from great storytellers. And so the exciting thing that we're able to do is actually bring in real writers, you know, screenwriters that, that have a history of, of you know, exciting audiences and, and uh, uh, making characters and stories that people love and, and that endure. And so it's, it's really cool to be able to bring them into this new, uh, this new genre we're creating where they're going to have, you know, not just a role, but a central role, you know, as the creators of the, the, the stories that we're telling. Do you have any tips for filmmakers who want to incorporate AI tools now? Well, I, I, it's, man, things are happening so fast. And, and you know, you, you just think that, you know, two or three years ago, we weren't even talking about this. It, th things are happening so fast. So it's a little hard to keep up, but I, I would encourage, you know, filmmakers to, to get interested because the, there, are, there are some pretty cool things that, that can happen now. And, and it, you know, you just got to sort of wade in there and start learning the language and start learning, you know, what these things do and then find your own voice with, with these new tools because I, I think it's going to be an exciting place for a lot of artists to create, you know, completely new things. Well, you have 20 patents to your name across many fields. Um, you've worked with uh, Disney's R&D and Imagineering. How do you foster your own creativity? How do you keep those creative juices flowing? I, I, I just, I love stuff. I, I, I'm, I'm, you know, I have this huge appetite for new things and I, I, whether it's new art, new technology, new anything, you know, anything I, I do try to, you know, sort of fill my brain with, with uh, as much stimulus as I can. And then, you know, as, as when you're, you're thinking about all these things and seeing all these exciting new things, it inevitably just inspires you to, to uh, put those together in a, in a unique way. And, and, and that's what I love to do. You also worked on a number of Disney rides. Uh, and how do, you, how do you approach a project like that conceptually, designing a new ride? Well, I, I did one uh, kind of a, a big one that, that we did at, at Disneyland uh, was the Indiana Jones ride. And, and that was one of just, you know, watching those films over and over with a small team of writers. And, and we, we watched them over and over to try, to try to figure out what's the essence of that. You know, millions and millions of people are going to come and ride this attraction for decades. A whole generation will, you know, when you build a, an attraction like that, a whole generation of people come through it. And so you have to have something that, that is, is the fantasy that they have. And, and for us, it was, you know, to be that Indiana Jones, that every man that, that uh, you know, is, is hanging on by, by his fingernails, but, but he, he, he gets through in the end. And, and to create, you know, the ability for people to feel that is, is kind of often what theme park attractions do. And it's, it's, a, it's, it's neat to, to, to really try to take that whole body of work and, and find one little moment in it that speaks for all of that work. Is that your favorite ride or do you have, do you have other that you personally like? You know, like? people ask me that all the time. <laughs> and I like them all. <laughs> right. Uh, what are you excited for uh, at Sundance in Taipei this time? Well, it, it's just a man, so much stuff. I mean, so many films and, and uh, a lot of new stuff. And I, I can't wait to see a whole bunch of screenings. And, and uh, um, I, I think it's just exciting, just the breadth of, of what's here.